Alright guys, Dokkan time. So, today we're going to attempt to go through the Fighting Legend v. Cheetah event with a low-class warrior team. Now, I'm kind of forcing Kid Koku in here because he is on the low-class warrior team. Uh, yeah, right there. Which is very weird. I, I guess he's on there because he's still in his kid form. I don't know. It's very weird. But the rest of it's all just... Team Bardock units, they're all stacking um, and doing a lot of work. So let's let's just jump right in and see how it goes. such a good freaking <laughs> animation I love it so the only unfortunate thing right here is that we kind of need Bardock to take the hit um, uh, <laughs> man this this guy needs to get his stacks in like really bad I'm not even a hundred percent sure we're even gonna get him to do an attack but uh, we'll find out in a sec I wanted to keep Kid Goku just rotating off as He's just going to be here basically for orb changing, getting damage reduction, and kind of hoping for the best. Uh, he could do a lot if he just kept him on rotation, but I'm not really sure we'll get to see too much of that. So good news is we didn't kill him right away because we want to get stacks in with all of these characters. There's so many, especially this Bardock. Unfortunately, Bardock did not get an additional... He really needs those stacks. I would say... Of course you killed him, Kid Koku. <laughs> so, even here, this is a really tricky one for me, because Fasha needs the stacks. Uh, in her passive, she needs to get hit, I think, four or five times? Um, attack and defense with each attack received up to 150 so yeah 3 6 9 12 15 so she needs to get hit five times uh, the good news is it looks like she'll get four stacks in that first slot which is fantastic so let's just go from there um i have honestly not used the almighty shoot gash a lot um what does he have tagging on the enemy blah 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 so the only good thing i see in here is that he can crit and he can launch an additional super attack. Oh, but that's only when they're sealed. Well, here's hoping he's kind of worth? I don't know. Kind of iffy on him. Point is, we're going to get all this a good portion of the stacks on Fasha. Fasha is a really good unit. The problem is, I only have her at 55. And she's not level 10. Um, yeah, as you can see, she's just very underwhelming, especially since she's probably not going to crit that much. Unfortunately, until Shugesh gets enough stacks in, he's going to take a lot of damage, too. I have a feeling we're going to run into this kind of issue a lot where we have all these units that need to get stacks in. Um, I really feel like I should put Tora on there to get his stacks. I really don't like it, but he needs stacks desperately. He really does. Yeah, double stack. That's good. That's exactly what we need. And there's still plenty of HP left over for Bardock to do almost no damage and to get plenty of defense stacks. Hopefully at least two. Or just crit him and don't get another stack. That works too. I like that. Okay, so as Fasha being in the first slot, she's on turn four. So this is the last turn 
that she's actually going to be able to get any uh, any more stacks. This is this is it. Um, we can get two, we can three, there we go. So they're not going to take anywhere near the same amount of damage now if either of them get super attacked. And she now is fully buffed. Um, the interesting thing about her passive is that she gets additional 150% buff after guard is activated, but it doesn't look like it's working right now. Uh, which, whatever works. Okay. Shugesh I'm worried about, in all honesty. I'm worried that he's not going to have enough stacks, and the same thing with Pora. Okay, Goku, I love you, but please do not kill early. <laughs> we need stacks. We need stacks desperately. I need kills. <laughs> oh, kid Goku. Okay. Well, let's see here. What are we sitting at on stacks? Oof. That sucks. Because, uh... Oh boy. Um. Yeah, no, that works. That works. That works. Well, there's at least the three uh, rainbow keys for you, so we might actually be able to do a good amount of damage against the cheetah right now. Remember, you gotta you gotta concentrate on low class warriors. This is gonna be the same thing for the GT Goku event. Although I would arguably take out the Tech Tora and replace him with just about anyone else. Maybe the Kid Goku Giant Ape form unit? Um, because obviously at the end of the fight you're going to be hitting uh, an intelligence unit. So you gotta watch out. Oh wait, no, no, no. You go from intelligence to tech. So you actually want... Yeah, you need intelligence units. Ooh, that sucks because I, I didn't pull Tora. Ooh, that's going to be rough on me. Okay, um... Who are we sitting here? Oh, she's, she can definitely take the hit harder. The only th unfortunate thing is, is that... In my experience so far, Fasha does not take a good amount of damage. Like, she, she's, she doesn't take damage well. She can dish it out, but she can't take it. Uh, this is gonna hurt. 400k or not. Yeah, that hurt a lot. That sucks. And, of course, the Cheetah lowered her defense. I was going to say, please don't kill him yet. We really desperately need the Shugesh stacks. You just couldn't double super, could you, Shugesh? Yeah, I, I love Bardock. I love his animations. His super attack is awesome. His, his intro is amazing. Um, his active is cool looking. But that's the unfortunate part about Tech Bardock, is he's mostly all kind of show. Okay, um, oh boy. Here's hoping for the best. The good news is we can get as the maximum amount of orbs with Kid Goku there. So we have damage reduction, we have crit, I mean... Honestly, I would not be as entirely surprised if Kid Goku just annihilates them right now. I am terrified Toro's going to get super attacked because he can't take a hit. Normals are fine, but against intelligence, Vegeta, no, he'd, we'd get, we'd die probably. Bardock still can't get in that double. I don't know why. And we really needed it too. This is going to hurt a lot. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. That's probably thanks to the damage reduction from this Kid Goku, though. Man, if he crit, that might have actually almost killed. Uh, wait. Okay. I was gonna say, if he crit right there, he might have actually killed him. Okay, so with... With Fasha and Slav 1, she's getting guard. She should get pretty much her full passive built back up. And I think by next turn, the defensive debuff will go away.
Double super, all right. Of course, Vegeta dodges. The unfortunate thing is I really wanted him to die this turn. Um, uh, I don't know how we're going to take this, Chugesh. Chugesh. Okay. He had type advantage, so we were lucky. Bardock should kill. I hope. Yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're good. Alright, so this is when things start to get tricky because <laughs> um, we're getting to a point where we can't really afford to take a lot of damage. It's not a joke, we really can't. I'm also very skeptical on if um, Bardock can take this attack at only 370k. Uh, we're gonna have to hope for the best. I think we should have the Dokkan attack next turn. Yeah, th this, uh, this low-class warrior mission is actually really kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, there is a lot of Team Bardock units. All the free-to-play units all have stacking. And when it comes down to stacking in this game, you can't really afford to have every single unit stacking because at a certain point your stacking needs are going to be very much higher than the amount you can output. Difficulty escalates very quickly. Um. Oof. Um. Well, as per usual, Fasha is a little bit in a better spot. Yeah, we're gonna get the Dokkan attack right now. Uh, it's only five, darn. Oh, wow. We did not get the Dokkan attack, that sucks. We could have really used it. Yeah, she took a 50k. And we're definitely gonna get it next turn. Um, Man, it's gonna be a waste of a Dokkan attack too. We're, we're guaranteed getting him down to like, I wanna say like two health bars this turn. With Goku, with Kid Goku at max passive, I mean, yeah, he's he's definitely gonna do some damage. And Shugesh is actually getting up there a little bit. He might do. Okay, no, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> but yeah, two bars, two bars. Unless Kid Goku crits. If he crits right now, he might die. Oh wow, maybe not. I take it back. I overestimated him excessively. Okay. Yeah, we really need more stacks. Super bad. Uh, I would be... <laughs> I'll be... I'd be real. I'd be absolutely astonished if we, uh... If we got a kill right now. Even with the Dokkan attack, this Bardock... I mean, I think, I think he's about to get stunned. I think he's about to get stunned. Oh no, and we took 100k. That sucks. That sucks. We're, we're stacking a lot, man. He still took 100k. No, we're missing. We messed up. We're not going to get the full heal. No, I take it back. We should still get a full heal. I just don't know. If we'll... We should kill. It should kill. I'm giving Bardock way too much credit. He's not going to kill. Ah, the double super. Just to spite me. Oh, wow. Tora coming in with the freaking final attack on this phase. That's fine. He needed to stack desperately. I'm fine with this. Okay, so this is the part where things get a little scary. Okay. 
Okay. Bardock actually gets a buff. So he gets all crits this turn no matter what we do. If we get two Rainbow Key Spheres, um, he'll get... Oh, we only need one for the, the attack and defense of 50%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we only need to give him this one because he's going to get crits no matter what. Um, I really want to save some of the orbs for the next turn. She gets just flying off. Um, yeah, there we go. This, this works, this works. I don't think... I, we don't have to worry about Bardock. Bardock's gonna do some work right now. This is the friend unit still, though. Um, crit. Wow, no double, huh? That sucks. Darn. Could have really used the double. Wow, he did that much damage? Dude, that's insane. Of course you would freaking dodge. This is this is the hardest part of the event. Obviously, it's the final boss, but man, it, it's like dodges like that. They're like you can't afford it with these <laughs> ironic, these lower level freaking categories. The low class warriors are tough, man. Like if you don't get a a stack off or you don't get a super attack hit in, that might be costing you a good portion of like a whole turn or the game. Alright, Bardock is at 500k defense. I honestly am not sure he'll get any better. Um, I know if we do transform him, he'll do more damage. Ugh. This is really rough. Really, 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 really rough. I'm actually gonna do this. I'm terrified. I'm sorry, I'm terrified. <laughs> I, I'm legit terrified that we'll die. If we don't die, it's fantastic, but right now I'm I'm absolutely terrified. Because this is This is harder than it needs to be. I had no faith that if we got a super attack at only 270k defense. Nah man, I don't give a crap of its type advantage. I don't care how old this event is. At only 200 k defense, that's garbage. Bardock sitting over here, barely doing good hits in. Even at 500k defense. I'm gonna laugh if he actually takes more than double digits. <laughs> he actually did. That means we would have easily taken freaking, I don't know, at least 100k. It's pretty bad. Plus we had the damage reduction with Goku. That means we had almost 50% damage reduction. He still didn't take double digits. Pretty bad. Alright. My Bardock's turn. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have turned that off. Oh, well, what can you do? I think this might be game. Like, right here, this turn. I think this is it, boys. Um, how many orbs? Two? We can only get two, huh? That sucks. Yeah, this is game. There's no way we lose. Especially since I, I panicked and activated Whis. Looks like Fosh is gonna put the cheetah down. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, he didn't dodge. Alright, well that's it guys. This is the uh, legendary Vegeta event with the low class warrior team. Um, I'm sorry I panicked and used the item. Obviously I could have no itemed it. Um, it was a little panicky because, you know, obviously stacking, it, when you have a team like this that's really low category and they don't run that well, um, it's it's honestly best that you just kind of force the them to work. So uh, I wouldn't say that it's undoable, 
if you do not have the new uh, tech Bardock, I would say your team is just going to be centered around different units. So in the, in the case of if you do not have tech Bardock or even Kid Goku, I would still say you're fine. Um, if we type in low class warriors here, I mean, let's, let's just take off both these two. You can always run the AGL Bardock as your leader. He's a low class warrior lead 170% key plus four. It might even help you out a little bit. You won't have as much HP, but you will have the key plus four and you're still 170% lead. Um, I would also suggest if you have this Goku, um, he's a very old Goku. I have five extra copies of him. I don't know what to do with. Um, but he raises attack and defense. This would be a really solid unit. Uh, he's not amazing, but he's not terrible either. So, I mean, I would just highly suggest him as an extra unit to use. And, of course, there's the free-to-play LR Goku, which will do pretty fine on his own. I imagine so. <laughs> I mean, he's buffing the rest of the, the team. Um, he should be good to go. Uh, just keep in mind, if you do bring another uh, Tech Bardock as a friend instead of an AGL Bardock, you cannot use, like, Turles and so forth. I was dumb and ended up bringing him along. I almost actually beat the event with this Tur my Turles. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm very mad at this that it hasn't hit level 10 yet. But he would be a really big help, actually. Um... Yeah, he would still be a big help because he's still giving key plus 3 and attack plus 40% and all allies defense plus 40%. Okay, so attack and defense plus 40%, which is really good. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it, honestly, that actually would be a pretty good run with that. Um, the last phase is AGL. So, I mean, you could bring this Raditz if you really wanted to, especially since he, atta he stacks attack. But I don't think he's going to do good enough. I really don't. I, I don't think he'd be worth bringing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this team would ro rock fine. And in all honesty, you could also just say screw it and bring all the free-to-play Bardocks. And you could probably make it work, especially with items, I have no doubt. This Bardock gets... my He gets damage reduction up to 50% if you just brought a whole team Bardock team. I mean, really? And then there's the free-to-play uh, Fasha. I honestly was kind of tempted to bring her instead of the Dokkan uh, banner one, Dokkan Fest one. Um, <laughs> she gives all ally, all team Bardock allies key plus three attack and defense plus 30% after evading attack. She has built in high chance to evade. She changes key orbs to rainbow. I mean, w what reason would you not want to bring her with? So. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's the video. I hope it helps you out if you're having issues with getting this done. But otherwise, it should be pretty easy. Anyways, have a good day and a good night.